are definitely in a time where the Lord is calling us to stand in His counsel and seek His face. Being intimate with the Lord will unlock and birth Godful destiny in and through us. It will allow our world to be shaped and formed by God. Now, God speaks here in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11 to 15 in the New Living Translation, uh, which speaks volumes about clarity and how close the message of the Lord is for each and every person under the sound of my voice, each and every person that is um, seeking God and drawing near to God. The Word of God says, this command I'm giving you today, is it not too difficult for you? And is it not beyond your reach? What I'm actually wanting to address in your life and what I'm actually wanting for you to walk in, God says. It is not kept in heaven, so distant that you must ask, we will go up to heaven and bring it down so we can hear it and obey it. It is not kept beyond the sea, so far away what that you must ask who will cross the sea so, uh, to bring it to us so we can hear it and obey it. No, the message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and it is in your heart so that you can obey it. <laughs> now listen, today I'm giving you a choice between life and death, between prosperity and disaster. And so the Lord says this message that I have for you individually and also corp corporately um, as we are the temple of the Holy Spirit individually and also co corporately, God says this message is not difficult for you to hear or understand we just need to draw near to him we need to engage with him and god says i'll bring clarity to your situation i'll bring clarity to your life and i will redefine your call and i need you to get away from an ap apologetic lifestyle an apologetic attitude and a, a, a place in your life where you just don't want to offend anyone, where you just don't want to uh, re really re release the uniqueness of God's call upon your life. And this call, he will be pretty much out of the box. It will not be within the square box um, that you are used to and accustomed to. This is what I see the Lord is saying today for many people. Because your call might be weird, it might, might be completely controversial, it might be completely disruptive, but the Lord says that you cannot, you cannot be shaped by other people's opinions. You need to allow me and to form, uh, allow me to form you and to bring the style that I had for you to fashion you before the foundations of the earth. It needs to be recognized today. It needs to be seen today. And it needs to be established today. So the Lord is saying to us tonight, we have entered a time of knowing confidently who we are. That we have been created in His image and in His likeness. He has broken into our lives to decree and to declare that we are His own. That we have been sanctified and He has never written off anyone. The Lord is saying that in His counsel there is clarity. We know that in His presence there is fullness of joy. Why is there fullness of joy in His presence? Because we see what the Lord sees. We experience what the Lord experiences. We enhance and embrace the move, the flow, the, the, the stream of freshness that comes from the throne room of God. And we just have this just explosion in our hearts of joy, of peace, of rest of knowing everything will work out fine because I can see clearly what the Lord has destined me for. And so there's a gift of clarity setting in and rising up in people's individual individual lives. This With this gift of clarity, God's people is going to let go, go of the ordinary and take hold of the extraordinary. They are going to let go of the problems 
and take hold of God-full solutions. You, there, uh, there, is, um, there are going to be uh, a let go also of wrong choices where you have made mistakes and uh, you know that it's cost you enough, it's cost you plenty and uh, you're just not going to spend any more time on these wrong choices and these wrong decisions and this hurdle that you've bumped over and uh, you're just going to allow God to bring this adjustment and correction in your life. And so